One of the most common problems we can see in cats is gastrointestinal upset called diarrhea. What is diarrhea? Is it life-threatening for your cat? What should you do about it? I'm Dr. Alicia and in today's episode I will answer all of those questions, so stay tuned! Before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell as well. That way, you will be notified as soon as we release a new video that will help you become a better pet owner. Diarrhea is unformed or loose bowel movements, usually with increased amount and frequency. It's a result of faster movement of fecal material to the intestine combined with decreased absorption of water, nutrients and electrolytes. Diarrhea is not a disease, but rather is a sign of many different diseases. Most involve some degree of inflammation of one or more areas of gastrointestinal tract. There are many causes of diarrhea. Depending on your cat's lifestyle, you may or may not be readily aware of the details of her bathroom habits. In addition, felines are very fastidious about grooming, so the signs of diarrhea may be missed, especially in the early stages. Staining and soiling of the fur around the back end in long-haired breeds is often associated with diarrhea. If your well-trained feline companion suddenly starts having accidents around the house and the stools are unformed to fluid, the diarrhea is obvious. However, if the cat is still using the litter box and covering up its feces or defecates odors, you may not initially notice that there is an issue. What are the causes of a cat diarrhea? The list of potential factors is long but there are some of the general categories. Dietary indiscretion or diet change. Cats tend to be more careful about what they eat than dogs are, but sometimes they do eat inappropriate things like grass, shoelace, etc. Even a purposeful change in diet from one food to another can cause diarrhea. Food intolerances or allergies to specific ingredients of a diet can also be responsible for diarrhea. Parasites Parasites such as intestinal worms, giardia or coccidian can definitely irritate your cat's gastrointestinal tract, causing all kinds of diarrhea involving the small and or large bowels. Significant numbers of parasites that cause the condition are more common in younger kittens. But more than that, Giardia infection can affect both kittens and adult cats as well as humans. Infections Viral or bacterial infections can also cause diarrhea and occur more frequently in younger cats. Stress or anxiety, especially caused by traveling or other changes in the environment, can also result in gastrointestinal upset. Primary inflammatory disorders, like inflammatory bowel disease, can cause your cat to develop diarrhea. Metabolic diseases, such as pancreas, liver or thyroid imbalances, medications or toxins. Most know that certain antibiotics can upset the gastrointestinal tract, but other medications and certain toxins or poisonous plants can also cause diarrhea. Constipation. Constipation may seem counterintuitive, but I mention it because older cats are prone to developing motility problems in their colons leading to constipation. In these cases, the cats often manage to only pass small amount of more liquid stools around the obstruction. What can you do about it? Because there are so many potential causes of diarrhea in felines, you should check with your veterinarian if your cat has it regularly. Obviously, some of these causes need specific therapy, but some may resolve on their own with simple, supportive care. One of the most asked questions is to feed or not to feed? Years ago, many vets always thought that gastrointestinal upset required some brief period of fasting to rest the bowels. That is true with vomiting, but nowadays we know that your cat's intestines need nutrition in order to heal themselves. 
so withholding food is not be recommended. What to feed? Increasing fiber intake is an option since it's considered a great equalizer, good for constipation but also good for diarrhea. However, I think it's best to go with multiple small meals, say four times a day, of something easily digestible. What means a low-fat, mostly carbohydrate diet such as potatoes, pasta or rice with a little bit of chicken, turkey, low-fat cottage cheese or yogurt. Some cats are also happy to eat meat-based baby foods. Water should be available at all times. And what about over-the-counter meds? You can mix the food with the probiotics, living bacterial cultures, which may also help speed the recovery. Additionally, you can give him anti-diarrheal agents such as paste containing an intestinal protectant like kaolin clay and pectin, recommended especially for cats. Never use products intended for dogs, because some of these contain bismuth subsalicylate, which are potentially toxic for felines. The last tip, never assume human medications are safe for cats. Instead, ask your veterinarian for recommendation. When is it time to worry about cat diarrhea? First of all, you know your cat best. If you are concerned, do not hesitate to contact your veterinarian. Remember that your vet is there to advise you. The seriousness of diarrhea depends on how long the diarrhea has persisted and how many other symptoms accompany it. To start with, one way to classify diarrhea is as either small bowel or large bowel diarrhea. With small bowel diarrhea, you are more likely to see large volumes of watery diarrhea which can quickly lead to significant dehydration and an electrolyte imbalance. On the other hand, large bowel diarrhea involve the lower bowel or colon so that you more typically see a cat as straining and uncomfortable but passing only small amounts of soft, mucoid, sometimes bloody stool. Generally, if your cat had one somewhat soft stool but it's still happy, playful and eating normally, you can probably safely wait to see what the next bowel movement looks like before taking any major steps. When is it time to visit your vet? When your cat's diarrhea has lasted for 48 hours or more, or you see blood in the stool. If your pet is not drinking any water or has additional symptoms such as vomiting, inappetence, abdominal pain or fever. If the cat's health worsens. Even if the ultimate cause of the diarrhea is not anything serious, getting the diagnosis and beginning therapy are important steps. If the diarrhea appears to be the large volume, small bowel type, your cat will likely benefit from at least some supplemental fluid and electrolyte administration and probably other anti-diarrheal medications. With large bowel diarrhea, your cat may be supremely uncomfortable and the continued straining will only make the irritation worse. In that case, your veterinarian can administer medications to ease the discomfort and to make your cat feel better more quickly. Anti-diarrheal agents, dewormers and or probiotics, bacteria that support intestinal health, may be prescribed in some cases. Remember, in all cases, if your cat does not improve within two to four days, a change in medication or further test may be necessary. You should never use your own human medications on your pets. Only administer medications as prescribed by your veterinarian. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.